in software engineering there are software tools there are variety of uh, wide variety of software tools and there are uh, you know the role of uh, software tools in the development process is also immense a tool is a tool and not a solution to a problem you must understand that it is to facilitate it is to automate and to help software engineers so what are the classification of tools in terms of our software engineering first is tool is support it gives you support so any task can be supported by the tool and the workbench what is the workbench it supports limited set of activities for example workbench can support your design environment the environment support entire process so tool support one task workbench supports set of activities you can say a phase and environment it supports the entire process so it cont con uh, contains of it or it consists of toolkit which is just a bunch of tools say language centered for example uh, around java or c++ integrated means it is centered around central repository with certain artifacts and it can be process center which is based on a model of a software process what are the dimensions for this classification of tools first is your bread that is tool or workbench etc this this is one of the classification dimension problem class whether the problem is your embedded or a business then you can classify the tool whether your problem is small or large then we can uh, depending upon the system size tools can be there whether individual city or state level the user scale how many users are there number of sites where all it is your product is located or will be uh, in, you know ported then process product people or both then it is called as process and uh, process support whether you want fixed support variable support etc and also the execution paradigm like state machine it is state machine or petri dish etc so what are toolkits for example you see unix it's a prime example of a toolkit tools know and uh, little to nothing of the objects they manipulate they are not aware you do it and mutual alignment of the tool is is really an issue what about language centered environments often you have uh, programming environments ides and visual say uh, present day examples are various studios are there studio.net eclipse you know android studio long learning curve they have because these are language centered environments so these are the scope of integrated environments you have a problem you uh, do the requirement engineering you produce the requirement specification and uh, say specification so from here to here this is analyst workbench okay from here to here means uh, specification till maintenance this is a programmer workbench this correspond to analyst workbench this is the programmer workbench and of course the case that is computer aided software engineering etc uh, is a umbrella these are the umbrella activities this starts and ends means this continues for the whole process these are the scope of the uh, activities which we are talking about so if you are an analyst what will be uh, your workbench uh, we you focus on early phases like requirements and design and uh, these are center directed like drawing a picture and the analysis support is there for example you want consistency so this is the consistency that is being supported by the workbench and then say uh, managing information that is what are the set of requirements this is how you manage the information analyst we are talking about analyst here analyst may uh, generate report also now you are programmer what will be your workbench editing analyzing coding debugging and instrument instrumentation tool you would want test coverage tools you would require and the configuration control of uh, often is the central tool what about the management workbench configuration control is the important aspect including the management of change request work assignment to whom what work is assigned and take the daily responses and then effort estimation tools these are the management workbench then pscc that is uh, process centered environment process centered environment so this is based on a model of the process for example in the form of petri nets this resemble the workflow management systems and the uh, formal models are rigid and there can be some stiffening also so this was a brief uh, you know overview of the tools 
software tools or sorry uh, tools related to software engineering for analysts uh, for for the programmer for the management management so there are variety of tools to different scope and uh, the only impediments in or the restriction problem is the rigidity of tools they should support the collaboration just not automation and tool adoption uh, it really helps you know and learning curve can be a problem but once you are well versed in it with then you can actually emancipate the level of software engineering you apply a tool is a tool that is not a solution you must understand thank you so much this was about the tools